New Attend community voicing frustration over a racist photo taken inside Arrowhead High School, then shared on social media. It showed a table of black students with a slur written underneath. TMJ4's Mary McCarr was at tonight's school board meeting where the father of one of those students made a passionate statement. Miriam. Charles, it was an incredibly emotional evening as we heard for the first time from a father of one of those students in that photo. In a completely packed school board meeting, it went silent as Santonio Martin shared his family's experience over the past week and what he hopes will now change. My son just sent it to me like, Dad, this is what's going on. And, um, <laughs> like, A father moved to tears, reliving trauma his son experienced. It really bothered me for real. Santonio San Martin sharing in front of the Arrowhead School Board what it was like seeing a photo of his son sitting at the lunch table with a racial slur written underneath. I brought him all the way here from Georgia just to play football for this program. Like we only here for business and that's to get him to the next level. It's the first time just matter happened with my kid, but you know, I go through this every day. After an emotional plea to the board to understand how harmful situations like these are, the father of five told me speaking out about this was for more than just his own peace of mind. It's, it's not about just like me. It's not about my son, even though it happened to my son. It's about the generation that's coming up. It's about the other kids that are actually in school going through it elsewhere around the world. It's just something that just needs to stop. The Arrowhead Board President Kim Schubert condemning the issue in a written statement read aloud earlier in the meeting. It is completely unacceptable for students and any member of our school community to engage in racist language or activities. Use of the N-word from anyone on our school campus will not be tolerated. Also noting that they've worked to reprimand those involved. Members of our administrative team have circled with all students and parents to educate and discipline the offenders, as well as talk with and support those students on the receiving end of this objectionable act. Other parents at tonight's meeting suggesting to the board bringing in outside consultants to help teach students and the community about ways to be respectful to different cultures and races so this doesn't happen again. But in the meantime, San Antonio says this was a learning experience for him and his son, who is healing, but thankfully now back focused on football. Reporting in Heartland, Mariam McCarr, TMJ4 News. Yeah, my heart breaks for that father, but you can understand why he is deeply concerned. Mariam, thanks.